Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and today I am bringing you week five of my 2019 reads. This week I finished one book, which is much more normal for me. The past couple of weeks I've been finishing so many books at a time. But this week, uh, like the past couple weeks, it was a great read. The book that I finished this week was The Sorcerer of the Wild Deeps by Kai Ashanti Wilson. This is a book that I heard about from John at Night Hunter Books. He'd read this, I'm not sure how many months ago, and really liked it, so I thought it sounded like an interesting premise about a sort of a demigod who is part of a group of mercenaries traversing some sort of wilderness with a caravan trying to protect the merchants in the caravan. And it sounded like a really interesting story. It has a black male protagonist, and it features a male male romance, so I thought, this sounds like a really great thing, and it's a novella, so it's not going to be too long. The magic system in particular is really fascinating in this book. The main character, Damane, is a descendant from some gods, and in this world, gods are very different from, I think, in other worlds where they are um, many different types of gods and a lot of them have, they have left the world, they've gone back to the stars, but some of their descendants still have diluted amounts of their power. And Damane is one of the descendants of the bird type gods. And he has a lot of really interesting powers that come from this, in particular, he has a very strong sense of smell, and he can smell all kinds of things. He can smell magic, he can smell disease, he can smell emotions. And I think that was a really interesting part of this world building. I liked that quite a bit. Um, another interesting part of the world building is just who the main characters are. So it focuses on this group of mercenaries, and they're just this group of black guys who are um, often at odds with one another, but very loyal. There's a lot of interesting dynamics within that group and a lot of different ways of talking as well. So there's um, like, it sounds like a French Creole. There is maybe somebody who is Spanish speaking. It's got a lot of really interesting uh, vernacular for different characters. So that was quite fascinating. And there's young characters, there's old characters. It's, it's a really interesting dynamic. Not quite as many women in the story as I would have liked. Um, the only real women, there's a couple of wives that are briefly mentioned, they're not really part of this, and then there's also an auntie. The auntie is quite a cool character, um, but I would say she's the only real main, uh, not even main, only real supporting female character who has anything more than just a couple of lines and isn't just kind of a wife left back home. So not as many women as I would like, but there is a very interesting focus on um, the male-male romance in this. So Damane is in love and he is a very sensitive and gentle-hearted character and so it's very sweet seeing his relationship um, and it's very interesting also seeing how he has to keep that under wraps because he comes from a place that is a lot gentler than where the caravan is and this group of mercenaries he has to be very tough around. So he often has to keep his feelings hidden or act a lot tougher than he is. So there's a lot of interesting things going on there. Another aspect of this book that I absolutely loved was how poetic and lyrical all of the writing was. I think maybe this is my favorite part, actually, of this novella, is just how beautiful all of the prose is. Um, Kaya Shante Wilson has this very interesting style where sometimes you're not even entirely sure what's going on, but you know what it feels like for the main character. The writing is beautiful. There is actually uh, I would say a very big trigger warning for violence in this book. It's quite graphic, um, gory even, and admittedly the topic is kind of a violent one. It's, it's a caravan with mercenaries protecting it from things that attack it, so it makes sense that there's violence, but it is very detailed. However, um, the way that things are described sometimes 
makes even the most violent of scenes seem beautiful. There's a big focus on color and scent and just the beauty of the world, even while it's violent. Um, so it's, it's really an interesting and unique world and writing style that makes this novella stand out, I think, as far as fantasy novellas go. I like that it's new. It's a fresh way of looking at a fantasy world. It's a new magic system. It focuses on things that I've not seen magic systems focus on. And then the prose is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, overall, I would say I loved this novella, but I wasn't as much in love with all of the violence. I do kind of have a, a little bit of sensitivity to violence in books. So for me, overall, this book was 4.5 out of five stars. Okay, well that wraps up my week five reads with this one book, but it was a very good one, so I'm very happy with my reading week. I hope you guys are having good reading weeks as well. If you've read The Sorcerer of the Wild Deeps or something else that you think is very poetic and lyrical uh, as a fantasy, I'd be very interested, so let me know down in the comments.